Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Twitter icon in Photoshop. So to get started we're going to open up Photoshop. I'm going to create a new document that's 500 pixels by 500 pixels. The first thing we need to do is go down to the rounded rectangle tool and we're going to make a rectangle um, with the corner radius of 40 pixels and then I'm going to just hold shift and drag this out. Alright so now we're going to go up to the selection tool and select our shape and with show transform controls on we're just going to click on one of the corners and it may be in percentages it may be in inches um, just right click right here in the uh, W and H for height and width and you can change it to pixels and once you have that you're going to click this little chain icon to constrain the proportions and we're going to set um, one or the other to 235 All right, we're just going to click the check mark to set that so now we have a pretty good size for our icon so the first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to change the color of this. So I'm just going to double click on that and uh, or on the little swatch over here. And I'm just going to change it to um, the hex code of 32B4D7. All right. Now yours might be close to that, um, but that's the code I'm using. So if, in case you want to use that, you can. So I'm just going to click OK. Now we're going to duplicate that layer. And we're going to set that color to this hex code. We're going to say 7FD0E7. Alright, click OK. Now you can see that that's a lighter color um, compared to the one underneath it. So now we're just going to scale this down a little bit. So I'm going to hold Shift and then Alt. Make sure you hit Shift first, then press Alt. And that's going to scale it towards the center point. And we're just going to get a little bit of a border around that and click, or and then let go. Click the check mark to make those uh, final. Then we're going to duplicate this again, and we're going to change the color of that one to uh, the same color as the first one, so we're just going to pick that color. All right, so now what we need to do is take and just make this a little bit smaller. So see, that's what happens if you don't hold Alt. Make sure that you're holding Alt when you do that, so Shift and then Alt, and we're going to just add in a little bit more. So now we have basically a three-tiered icon. So we have the outer base, we have the middle, and then we have the center. All right, so that's the first steps in making our icon. So the next thing that we're going to do is go over and get our text. So I'm just going to select the text tool. And the text, or the font that I'm going to be using today is called Pico Black AL or AI. Um, you can get it from a site called twitterfont.com. There's two available downloads. I downloaded the first one, so just... Um, a heads up on where you can get that font. So it's called Pico Black AI or AL and I'm going to just type a T and we're going to scale that up. Make sure that it's also in white and we're just going to take and put that at like some very large amount maybe like 200 or something. Yeah that's probably pretty good. Alright so I'm just going to take that and we can we can even yeah we're going to need a little bit bigger. We can scale it up um, just by clicking on the edge and holding shift as long as you have the transform controls on you should be able to do that no problem so I'm just going to click that alright so we'll apply those and now there's a couple of things that we need to do with this font so the first thing that we need to do is actually adjust the sides so um, with the Twitter T, uh, if you go to Twitter and look at it, um, this part is actually a little bit longer. So what we're going to do is go over to our text layer, right click and go to rasterize type. So that's going to allow us to actually edit it. Um, so now you can no longer shake and change the letter uh, or the type font or anything of that sort, but we're making one letter so you shouldn't be able to, um, you're not going to change the T anyway. So what we're going to do is just take it and we're going to grab the selection tool and we're just going to take and drag out um, as close as we can. Make sure you don't get any of the curves. And we're just going to drag out a little bitty rectangle. Okay. So once we have that, I'm just going to take and do layer via uh, cut. All right. So now what we can do is take and we can extend this. We're just going to um, go back to the T layer and we're going to cut off the very ends. So I'm just going to do layer via cut. And now we can take and move the cut over here. And then we're going to take this one and we're just going to extend it over. So you can see we can easily extend the T. So I think we need to move it in a little bit. Fill that gap up. <clears throat> you can see that we have done that pretty well. So um, there's a little bit of an issue there, there with the end. You can just take and move this around until you get it just right. All right. 
So that's looking pretty good. So um, this is pretty close to the T that you would see on Twitter and um, that's what we're going for. So we're just going to take all three of these, um, click on one of them, hold shift and click on the top one, right click and then go down to merge layers. That was off screen but you're going again to merge layers. So now we have this T as a whole element. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and um, actually add a gradient to this. So we're going to go down here to the FX button and go down to gradient overlay. That's going to bring up this box right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and just make sure it's from dark to light. Then we're going to click on the gradient itself to add the colors. And then for the dark one, we're going to click on the base layer, which is also the color that we have the middle set to right there. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to take and um, for the lighter color, we're going to type in C8F6FE. All right, so it's a nice light blue. So we're going to click OK. OK again, and OK. So now that we have that, the last thing to do for our T is actually to add a stroke of white. So I'm just going to go down again to the little FX button, go down to Stroke, and then we're going to add a stroke of probably about 16 pixels, and make sure that that stroke is white. So again, all Fs. So click OK. Now you can see we have a pretty good T for our Twitter icon. So the next thing we need to do is actually add some highlights. So in order to add these highlights, what we're going to do is go over to the marquee tool, and we're going to select the elliptical marquee tool. Now first before we do that, we're going to create a new layer by clicking on this icon right down here at the bottom. Then we're just going to drag out our marquee in an oval shape, and then you can hold sh uh, the space bar in order to move that selection around. And you're just going to try and make a nice curve over about the top third of your icon about the top half of the little um, T and we're going to just take and release when you're ready and then go to edit fill we're going to go to color and then we're going to make sure it's on white so all F's click OK OK again and you can see that it's filled the um, area with white so now we're just going to deselect by clicking that I'm just going to center this up a little bit more it's a little bit off center looks about right so now what we're going to do is make sure that just this white goes over just the icon rather than being outside of our icon's bounds. So the way that we're going to do this is by taking and holding control and going to our base layer. So make sure your base layer is selected and then click on the little gray box while holding control. And when you do this it's going to make a selection of the shape of that layer. So um, essentially we're just going to go up to our oval layer. We're going to right click, do layer via cut and then you can see that we can we have two different pieces now we have the part that we want and the part that we don't and we can just take and delete the extra part and now we have just the highlight over the icon and it's not going to go outside so what we're going to do with that is we're going to take and drop the opacity to about 25 not 215, 25 alright so now we have a nice highlight over the top part so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a small highlight on the top of the T and on this first side piece of the T. So in order to do this, uh, the first thing we're going to do is create a new layer. And then we're going to go over to the marquee tool, the rectangular marquee. And we're just going to add the one on the side first. So we're just going to take and um, make a small marquee selection over there. Just a small rectangle at the top. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, just take and go to edit, fill, you can fill it with white again so that we have something to work with. It's all F's, OK, and OK again. So you can see we can just deselect that and now we have something um, that we can mock up. So we're just going to go to the FX, we're going to go to gradient overlay, and then we're going to make sure that it's going to the side, so the angle is 0 or 180. And then we're going to take and we're going to select the colors. So I'm going to take and make a third color. So I'm going to drag one of the um, sliders to the middle. I'm just going to click and move the other one. So we should have two at the ends and then one at the middle. So three all total. And then for one of the ends, um, or for both of the ends, I'm just going to select the uh, light gray of the top part of the T there. Click OK. And then for the other side, I'm just going to do the same thing. And then for the last one, I'm going to select that and then I'm going to take and I'm going to move it a little bit lighter so that it's almost closer to white. Alright, so now we have a pretty good uh, gradient going on there and you can see what our uh, final effect looks like. So I'm going to click OK and then we're just going to drop the opacity down to something like 50, 
850, 760, maybe a little more. I want to make sure we can see it. Yeah, we'll just leave it back up at 100. That's fine. So you may even want to make this a little bit smaller. Uh, you can hold Alt and zoom in. You can make it a little bit, a little bit shorter if you need to. And you can position it around using the arrow keys. So now we have a nice, nice little highlight right there. So I'm just going to zoom back out. Now what we need to do is add the highlight on the top part. So the first thing that we're going to do is go over to our marquee tool and we're just going to grab the elliptical marquee tool. Now we need to take and we're just going to hold alt and zoom in and I'm just going to drag out a circular uh, selection and we can just hold this and draw it or move it around with the space bar. So it might even need to be a little bit smaller than that. And we're just basically trying to get uh, the arc of the top there. So just until it matches up, um, then you can let go. And we're just going to make a new layer. And I'm going to go to edit again, fill. I'm going to go to color. And we're going to go to white, okay. All right, so now that we have that, I'm just gonna deselect. We're going to duplicate this layer. And what we're going to do um, is take and hold control, click on the little box again, um, as we did earlier. And then we can take and move down our selection with the arrow keys. So now we have a selection of our copy. And we're gonna go back to um, the original circle layer. Once we have a little bitty like uh, crescent moon sliver shape there, I'm just gonna move it down until we have about that. And then we're going to go to right click and then layer via cut. So now we need to take and we can delete um, the layer five copy that we have. And we need to delete um, the layer via cut. So basically you can see all that we have left is this little crescent moon shape. And then we're gonna have a little bit of a gradient that goes underneath that. All right, so uh, what we need to do in order to add that is we're going to take and we're gonna grab the rectangular marquee tool. So again, I'm gonna make another layer. And then what we're gonna do is just take and drag out a selection that's as wide as our uh, crescent moon shape there. And then I can just take and move that up by holding um, the selection or by uh, pressing the arrow keys. All right, so, um, and then I can hold alt to subtract from my selection. So I just wanna make it as tall as, just so it doesn't go past our little crescent shape. So I can just remove from there. All right, so um, the next thing that we need to do is take and go to edit, fill, fill it with a color. We're going to be filling it with white yet again. So make sure it's on white. Okay, fill that. And the next thing that we're going to do um, is that we're going to um, add a gradient. So we're just going to add a gradient to this layer. Go to the little FX button, go to gradient overlay. Then what we need to do is take for the base layer, we need to make sure we have um, something that's the main color of this light color down here. And then we're going to have something that blends into white. Now we don't want it to be exactly white, so I'm just going to again select the base color for that. And then we're going to move it closer to white so that it's not quite there, but it's pretty darn close. So we're going to click OK. OK again. And now you can see the uh, the issue we have. Um, we can drag this one underneath our little crescent moon. You can see that kind of goes up over the top there. So we can deselect by just clicking anywhere with the selection tool. Grab the um, zoom tool and we can take and zoom in. And we can um, probably take and we can go up to this uh, crescent moon layer, hold control, and then we can Take away, we can actually make a selection uh, out of that, but I think it's probably just easier in this case in order to just take the eraser tool, um, get a pretty good sized brush, and then you're just going to take, and on your mine's layer six, we're just going to take and just erase um, that gradiented area away that goes outside of our highlight. So you can see that we have a pretty good highlight there. So we might need to uh, take and make it a little bit more drastic. So I'm just gonna take the gradient and we're just gonna bump it maybe even all the way up to white, at least a little bit closer, just so that we have a pretty good highlight there. Now, if you wanna merge these together and make it a little smaller or whatever you wanna do, um, you can do that. But you can see that we have a pretty good Twitter icon going on there. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something. Um, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.